How long can it take to prime a new engine? Let's find out. I'm behind the eight ball, so I've been doing a lot off camera, but as you can see, the engine is painted, partially assembled, fuel pumps on there, oil pan, dipstick, oil pan. I taped off the wicks so you guys would know I'm using the right filter. Lord knows you're all oil filter experts. So next thing I'm gonna do is pour the oil in the lifter valley before I put the intake on, that'll just be easier. And then we'll go ahead and prime it while everything's disassembled so I can see and make sure everything's getting oil. Hopefully none squirts out the front of the back of the motor, but I mean, I built it, so it could happen. Here's what we're using for braking oil. I know some of you think all oil is the same. That's not true. I don't care what your granddaddy told you. If you want to break in your rings and your cam right, you better get a break in oil. It's got the right chemistries to make all that stuff happen. And don't just drain it out after you break in the cam. It's important to have the right break in oil for seating new rings as well. All right, folks, S80-30 break in oil. Now, I don't like to give away all my secrets here, but these are the kind of things that are gonna put you ahead of the pack. You wanna make sure you always use the appropriate size funnel when you're pouring the oil into the engine. You don't wanna spill anything. You'll thank me later. Well, that is viscous. That's a scientific word. It means thick. It's somewhat there. Mm -hmm. I'm not real certain I tightened the drain plug. And I'm a little bit worried about that right now. Whoa. Whew. Almost missed the funnel. <laughs> oh, rookie. Man. Didn't spill a drop. Save some of that for dinner. Ever wonder how long it takes to prime a new engine? I always did. We didn't have tools like this when I was a kid. We just cranked it up dry. Motors were tougher back then. Anyway, you can get these off the Amazon for like 20 bucks. I'll leave a link. Let's see how long it takes. Let's put it on the low. And the filter is dry. Oops. If we're making some pressure, let's try high. Let's the other high. There's that battery. Takes longer than that. Apparently it takes longer than that too. That is unfortunate. Take three. Starting to get oil up in our rockers, so that's good because I'm I'm about out of battery. I think I might uh, give our engine a little rotation, move things around a little bit. 
Where's my rotator? Rotator. I'm gonna keep doing this until I get oil up through every push rod. And I'll know they're all oily. No worries. Some of you are going to say take the spark plugs out and they'll roll over easier. They're backed out. There's no compression. Okay. Probably should have used a corded drill.
much all have some amount of oil in the rocker. So that lets me know they're all oiling. So we should be good to go. One more time. I don't know about you, but I feel like that took longer than I would have expected. A solid couple minutes worth of priming to get oil everywhere in the top end. It's important. Well, there you go. Took two, three, four minutes. I don't know. I can't count that high. But it should not take you that long. I installed a dry pump, dry filter, and dry lifters just to see how long it could take. If it takes you longer than a minute, you might want to start questioning as to why it took that long. I know why it took me that long. It's because I, I did it all wrong. And you, you shouldn't.